Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with the one and only, the immortal, John Hancock. How's it going, dude? Always great to be here. Thanks for coming. Tell me why we're here. We're here to talk about more hidden gems for the Sega Genesis. That's right, and so in front of me, he has 11 awesome games for the Sega Genesis. I'm always looking for some from my collection. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, I can't wait to showcase uh, what I brought. Uh, some of these are my favorite. This is gonna be great. Let's take a look. Okay, dude, so first of all, what is a hidden gem? A hidden gem is a, a game that wasn't talked about, uh, not in the limelight. Right. And so a hidden gem can be defined differently by different people. Uh, the hidden gems I brought um, are, are games that, that really were not uh, um, like well marketed well or? marketed you know yeah. that they weren't you know they might have been in a magazine they might have had even a full page spread but after the game came out and made its sales that was it yeah and if you didn't grow up with it you don't know about some of these games yeah definitely okay cool yeah. all right well i know that question comes up a lot so i mm -hmm. kind of want to address yeah. that so what is the first hidden gem Oh, I have to talk about this. Oh, you're going here, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go here. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Buck Rogers. Yeah, countdown to, to doomsday. doomsday. So, um, if you have a partner and you want to break up with them, have them <laughs> have them watch you play this. So, wait, we're recommending this game. Yeah. Right? So, okay. recommending it. Uh, it's a it's a it's a crazy awesome game. Uh, science fiction, very action strategy. It's it's turn based. Right. Um, there's resources. You you have a crew. Yeah. You eventually get a ship, and there's like even like ship warfare. I mean, it's really in depth. Yeah. It's really nerdy. And if you're <laughs> like want to pick up and play a game, this is not the game for you. It comes with a massive booklet, just yes. so you know. Oh, and actually, eight, <laughs> nine. When, when you first brought this over, I was like, oh, I have this game, but I have the original version that came yeah. out on PC. Yeah. So it's by a company called SSI, and they made all of those really great gold box role-playing games at the time, like yeah. Pools of Radiance and stuff like that. So very deep RPG game. It's cool that they actually even made this work on the Genesis. I, I know they optimized it a little bit, yeah. uh, you know, little places here and there, so yeah. it's cool. It's it's great that Genesis got a solid port of it. Absolutely. It is a, it is a well-made game. and. And not a lot of people, it doesn't come to mind of like, oh, that's a yeah. good Genesis game. Yeah. Definitely. Next up, Light Crusader. What is that? Light Crusader is an isometric action RPG game hmm. that came out in the mid 90s, I do believe at the time of uh, the next gen console. So when the next gen consoles like Saturn and PlayStation were oh, being okay. marketed, people weren't thinking about the Genesis. And right. so, this was a late release. It's a cardboard box. Fantastic game. It's it's not mm. perfect. It's short. It's about you know seven eight hours, um, in 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 one main dungeon. But uh, fantastic. Like I, it's very well made. Hmm. Um, and it's going to cater to a certain like action RPG person. Okay. But um, I really like it a lot. Hmm. I mean, it's 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 well done. And uh, you know, I'm at a point now where I don't like the long, long. Games. I'm the same way. Yeah. So this is you can beat this. Huh. Okay. Definitely. All right. Next up is <laughs> an arcade upgrade. Okay. Uh, called Toki Going Ape Spit. You have to say that carefully. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Toki Going Ape. Spit. So this is an arcade game. It's an upgrade to the arcade game with okay. some additional levels, and uh, huh. they took some power ups and added some power ups, and it's really bizarre. And so um, you pretty much it's it kind of has a story a little bit like Altered Beast, hmm. where um, you get morphed into an ape and you have to go you know save your girl. Okay. And but it's more of a cartoony uh, platform style game, but hmm. it has some shooter mechanics to it. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Next one, Battletech. I love these mech games on the yeah. PC back in the day. So Battletech, um, think of, I, I know that I talked in, in the earlier video mm -hmm. about Final Zone. This is actually a closer rendition of Desert Strike in robot form. Oh, cool. And so Battletech, uh, you, you're, you control a large mech and you're, you're, you're blowing stuff up and mm -hmm. it, you know, we have certain things you can blow up and 
and and missions and huh. uh, and 16 megs of power. That's right. <laughs> that's right. It's the robot. Again, this is a game you have to play a little bit to get used to controls. Um, I don't say the controls are perfect, but it's it's a solid game, hmm. and nobody's played it. And well, I don't say nobody, but yeah. few people have played it. I do believe it was uh, a Mech Warrior label on because it's in the Mech Warrior universe right. on the Super Nintendo, but okay. on the Genesis version they called it BattleTech. Wow, cool. Next up, one of the best covers on this whole Absolutely. episode here. Absolutely, Skeleton Crew, and Skeleton with a K. Yeah, Skeleton <laughs> Crew, again a, a late release. Wow. My core. Yeah, they they did uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah, they did huh. awesome stuff. Hmm. And um, again, a late release, isometric view action game, two player, hmm. um, hard. Okay. And the artwork in this game is fantastic. It, it oozes with theme. It's it's very much nails a, a great um, action. It's a little bit of puzzle in there, but um, solid game. It's hard. Huh. Um, it's fairly hard to come by, unfortunately. But um, for, if you can find this, especially, it's a it's a good play. Okay. Cool. And speaking of the immortal, John Hancock. Here you have the immortal. The immortal. <laughs> yeah, the immortal is a. Uh, Kind of hard to classify because part of it is uh, an action game, but it's not just an action game. You, you control a, kind of a wizard character, and there's there's puzzle aspects of it. Mm. You're in an isometric dungeon, and um, there's a lot of you know puzzle solving in the game. So it's part action, part RPG, part puzzle, um, and it's pretty challenging. And ironically, in the, in the game called The Immortal, you die a lot. You die <laughs> really? a lot in this game. False advertising. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It is. It is a solid game. Huh. Um, I absolutely. You know, I like the. I like the title. Of course, you have to. <laughs> um, next game uh, again. You know, EA really, uh, really nailed the Genesis titles. They they came out. You know, for for a company that got known to be you know the sports. Goliath, right? You know they had so many great uh, independent titles on the Genesis, and and Techno Clash is is one that they published. Hmm. And Techno Clash is an action-heavy overview. Um, it's part steampunk, part cyberpunk, hmm. part something else. Um, it's hard. It's challenging. Um, these games were hard to classify into one category. Some of them, which is kind of a cool thing in my it opinion. Is. Huh. It is, and I think it's one of the things why they kind of weren't in the limelight because, you know, they they, they were a little bit having an identity crisis. And Maybe hard to, to market. Hard right? to market, yeah. definitely. Cool. This next game I've seen a little bit of. People have talked about it a bit. So Growl's an example of, a, of an, it's an arcade port. Right. And it's a game that wasn't perfect. So the big complaint with this game is it was one player. Okay. If you can get over that, it's great. So. Okay. Uh, a brawler, right? Has grenades. Yeah. Has fire. Whips that, yep. that go whips. back and forth. Yep. Yeah. Um, it, it's fairly violent. Animals and, that fight for you. Yeah. Right? Animals that fire you. Saving animals by killing humans makes sense. <laughs> okay. And so yeah, yeah. It's 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 a great game. It's actually one of my favorite uh, brawling style games. Probably in the top ten on Genesis. But it, you know, it's it's imperfect because it, the complaints were it should have been two player. Uh, I still like it. That's cool. Huh. This is what I'm very familiar of. Uh, I have it in my collection. I think it's amazing. It's Steel Empire. So mm -hmm. have you played this a lot? I've played it a little bit. Um, part of the problem is I get overwhelmed in my game room yeah. playing other things. <laughs> well, it's one of yeah. my favorite sh you know, shooters on the system because it's kind of unique. It's a steampunk side-scrolling shooter, but it's fantastic. Like yeah. backwards, you can shoot forwards. There's great boss battles. There's a level up system in it. Now you can choose one of two. Right. Uh, you have like a blimp, and then you have another uh, like an airplane thing. I think so, but I never chose that because I'm yeah. like, what other game can you play a blimp? None. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Awesome. But it's great. I mean, it's got yeah. great scrolling in the background. It's really fun, and not a lot of people talk about it. And you have a complete copy, which makes me very jealous. <laughs> yeah, I, I got that a long time ago at a at a store called Bog Bean Books and Music. Oh, really? In Redding, California. Yeah. Wow, oh, those were the I days. I won't tell you what I paid. I'm sure. <laughs> 
So this is a, a, a favorite of mine. Hmm. And so uh, in the previous video, I talked about Subterranea right. and being a, being a hidden, hidden gem. Well, Red Zone is just as much as a hidden gem as that. Hmm. And Red Zone can be defined as if you had a game a little bit like Desert Strike, but had all 3D graphics. Hmm. This game gets voted on many lists of having the most uh, technological feats okay. in one game cartridge. I have a copy of this. That's, That's right, because I popped it in and it has a movie in the beginning. Yeah, full motion video. That's right. I was shocked on a cartridge. You have 3D yeah. rendered like uh, game graphics. It is really, really impressive. Okay. The actual game is okay, and you have two parts of the game. You have like a helicopter attack part and then you go to like an overhead like you're 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 a guy going around doing mission based stuff right, and so that. that's not as cool but it's worth checking out to see what the genesis could pull off and yeah it's definitely on my list yeah it's funny i didn't recognize it originally based on the cover because i've never seen the cover but i remember having yeah. the cartridge being blown away okay. yeah it's got a cool cover um, and yeah. again it's one of those things where red zone it's like what are you talking about yeah what does that mean right yeah now, this is a game that you showed me in our list. I was like, oh, did we talk about that one already? Yeah, we talked about the Super Nintendo one. Of and Doom Troopers. Yep, and it's sometimes uh, called Mutant Chronicles Doom Troopers. Uh, so Doom Troopers is, again, one of those uh, hard to classify, um, you know, just hearing the title, but it's it plays a lot like a Contra game or mm -hmm. Metal Slug. Yeah. It's violent. Um, the Genesis one came with a collectible card, which is typically missing. I, um, I had to track down mine several years after I got a copy. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Huh. So um, definitely, this is a this is a pretty solid title. Um, it's for one or two players, and and uh, and and I enjoy playing it. I don't enjoy it playing as much as Contra, but maybe you've played Contra through and yeah. through, and you want to play something different. Looking for something new. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Dude. Okay. So that is part one of this series of hidden gems we're gonna do here. He has another stack, so we're gonna do that uh, in a couple weeks here. That's so, right. So dude, where can people find you on the internet? You know what, if you, the easiest way is just typing in the Immortal John Hancock. Or just Immortal John Hancock's fine. That's right, and so he has a YouTube channel where you've been going all in on it. Like you've been oh, yeah. consistently releasing some pretty cool videos. Yeah, two videos a week. I'm currently talking about PlayStation. I have Sega covered. Um, Come check out my channel. Um, I appreciate all the support. Absolutely, you guys definitely check that out. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing and take care. John Hancock has a world-class gaming collection and recently we did videos covering his Neo Geo collection. That's something that you don't see every day. And speaking of something you don't see all the time, we also did an N-Gage buying guide. Yes, John owns every single thing that came out for the N-Gage. So definitely check those out on my channel and thanks for watching.